All right, good evening. Coming up 7.15 on Sunday, the 11th of June, 2023. We've got multiple severe thunderstorms now underway across a couple different regions of Texas. We've got a couple of supercells in the western Texas panhandle. We've got a few storms in the big country and to the eastern Concho Valley. And we've got a couple of storms, well, more like a few storms now in the DFW Metroplex just to make the evening Less enjoyable for folks who have to monitor the weather and worry about hail damage. All right, we're going to take a look at these storms in detail real quick, tell you where they're going over the next hour or two, and get you updated on that. Let's press some buttons here. We'll do that. There we go. Storms of the Panhandle could have hail up to the size of 2 inches in diameter, generally are moving off to the east at about 25 miles an hour. Severe storm near Adrian on Interstate 40 will be near Vega by 8 p.m. Severe storm passing north of Hereford could be impacting Canyon, Interstate 27 and Highway 87 between Canyon and Happy by about 8.30 to 9. Both these storms could be around for a while and have the potential to produce damaging hail. That could be golf ball to tennis ball size. Left split supercell way out here this could eventually move up towards Dalhart by about 8.45 to 9 p.m. this evening. All right, let's continue down our southern trek. We've got a couple storms in the big country. Bit of rain around Abilene. Storm near Hawley could have quarter-size hail moving to the northeast. A couple storms right over the Dias Air Force Base radar site from just south of Albany down through Moran on Highway 6 to Putnam on Interstate 20 all the way east through Cisco and Eastland. Those storms could have quarter to golf ball size hail. Further south, a pretty nasty looking supercell currently north of Brady, south of Brownwood, crossing over Highway 377, moving southeast towards Richland Springs. That storm could have golf ball to tennis ball size hail as it moves southeast at about 20 miles an hour. Here in the DFW Metroplex, we've just got storms everywhere at this point. A little cluster of storms from near Newark and Hazlitt back southwest to Saginaw, River Oaks, Lakeside, Eagle Mound Lake, Azel down to Alito, south of Weatherford, Annetta south, Annetta north, Annetta. All these storms here in western Terran, eastern Parker County could have quarter to ping pong ball size hail, localized winds of 60 miles an hour. Storms in northeastern Dallas County, Rockwall County, generally moving east-southeast at about 20 miles an hour. Those could have nickel to maybe quarter-size hail in spots, 55 to 60 mile an hour winds. Supercell over the east sides of Joe Pool Lake. Well, technically, it's over most of Joe Pool Lake at this point. Back southeast over Cedar Hill. You've got Mount Lebanon Baptist Encampment just south of that supercell. This storm moving towards Glen Heights, Red Oak, Pecan Hill. Uh, DeSoto moving southeast about 15 to 20 miles an hour may have potential for quarter to golf ball size hail. Eventually could make it down towards Palmer and Ferris. If this storm were to take a little more of a southern trek, it could be more of a threat to Waxahachie by 8 p.m. All right, and finally, I think that's it. So let's take a look at the state view again. We'll play with the satellite. So over the next couple of hours, we're expecting storms to generally continue. We'll start to decrease in both intensity and coverage after sunset as we start losing some daytime heating, but we may have storms with us through about 11 p.m. to midnight this evening. Again, main threat's going to be hail. Some of that hail could be quite damaging out of the most intense storms. Localized damaging winds, 60 to 75 miles an hour possible. Plenty of cloud to ground lightning, locally heavy rainfall that could cause some isolated flooding, especially in urban areas. Otherwise, after midnight, we should be calming down. And that'll get us through the morning hours with maybe some storms in the northern Texas panhandle, storms firing up in Oklahoma. And then that takes us into the potential for a busy t Monday. Yeah, Monday across portions of the big country, north Texas, the potential for multiple supercellular thunderstorms, another active day, the potential for hail upwards of baseball size, potential for 70 to 80 mile an hour straight line winds, and perhaps a couple of tornadoes. We're probably going to see a level three risk added in this corridor in future outlooks for tomorrow. And because that wasn't enough, we're going to be doing something similar on Tuesday. The potential for scattered severe thunderstorms, large hail, damaging winds, heavy rainfall across portions of North Texas, Texoma, Northeast Texas, and East Texas. So with that being said, next couple days are going to be busy. And if it's not going to be storming where you are, it's just going to be darn hot with temperatures in the upper 90s to the triple digits with plenty of humidity. You can keep an eye on the sky with the free Texas Storm Chasers interactive weather radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar. And with the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app, live storm chasing video down to the neighborhood forecasts and interactive weather radars. We'll be keeping an eye on things this evening. Otherwise, y'all have a great Sunday evening and God bless.